This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to this tutorial. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna find where you live. And then just say hi, because there's nothing I can do about it. But uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to create stroke titles, very multi-layered stuff. And it's actually very easy to do this. So we're gonna do this with titles and with logos. But before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial, let's get started. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects, and here's our tutorial composition. And all we have in here is our title or we also have a logo now it doesn't matter what you're going to use here you can use a title a logo but in our tutorial we can use a title because i think this looks great for a title so if you want to do this correctly with a logo layer one thing you're going to need is the adobe illustrator file and all you have to do is right click this layer go to create and click on uh, create shapes from vector layer and you'll have your logo in a separate shape layer now that's if you want to do this with a logo, make sure you have an Adobe Illustrator. Now if you want to do this with a title, which is what we're doing here, let's go ahead and right click our layer, go to create, and we'll click on create shapes from text. And now we'll have this in its own shape layer, and that's perfect. So whether you're doing this with a logo or a title, you'll be able to follow this along, same steps. So with our shape layer selected, we'll go click on the word fill and set this to none and click OK. Click on the word stroke, set it to solid color and click OK there. All right, and, and you see I have a stroke here. You can change the stroke width by just the numbers here, and we can also change our color. And I'll turn off our mask icon here so we can actually see our letters a little bit better. And you know, that looks good. Maybe I'll set the stroke width up to like four or three. There we go. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll open up our shape layer and we'll go to add, and we're gonna add the trim paths. We'll open this up and we'll set our end percent down to zero percent so now we have nothing here we'll add a keyframe for start move forward i don't know maybe two seconds and we'll set this up to 100 percent so now you have a very simple stroke effect and this is a technique on its own right here and you can do what you want with that you can animate it out but i want to be able to create multiple variations of this effect so let's go ahead and do that first thing we'll do first is take both these keyframes make them easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard and we're name it to like stroke one awesome then what we'll do here is duplicate this layer by going up to edit, duplicate, and we'll open up stroke two. We'll go to add, and we're going to add a offset paths. And make sure that the offset paths is above the trim paths. That's very important. So as you can see, we get this extra line here. So going around our title, awesome. So we'll open up the offset paths, and we'll come here to amount, and we can adjust this number, and this will determine where the next line will go. So to a negative number there's that and you can play with the line joint to round join or bevel joins up to you i'm going to keep it at the default settings and as you see boom it comes on just as before and what we do this time is maybe just offset this layer in time so it doesn't come in at the same time and then we can duplicate this layer again and we'll just move it over in time we'll go back into our offset paths and we can create another variation here and we'll go to like maybe negative 11 and of course you can always readjust the stroke width so if you want to make the interior a little bit smaller that's totally okay so maybe i'll set the top one to one and you see it's a very nice you know smaller stroke and perhaps this time i'll duplicate the stroke too so we'll have four strokes in here and i'll go into the contents again go back to the offset paths and i'll actually expand this beyond our title so this time i go back in the trim paths and we got a keyframe for n percent and do it like between the two start keyframes and I'll go past like the second keyframe by like maybe a second or a second and a half and I'll set the end to 100%. So now we have the stroke that kind of just, you know, eats itself up and it's just gonna be an extra variation there. Very easy to do. So you can continue to duplicate this and do what you wanna do, but I wanna move on to our next technique, which is gonna be creating these multicolor lines. Very easy to do this. So what we'll do here is grab all of our stroke layers and we'll duplicate them. We'll bring them to the top and we'll change the you know tag here to a different color so we don't get them confused and we'll offset it in time just by like you know a few frames 
come here to stroke color and we'll change this to whatever color we want so now you'll see that we get this like accent stroke color going on here and just you know we'll have to continue to work on it but we'll go ahead and take these stroke layers we'll duplicate them bring them to the top we'll offset it again and we can change the color back to white or whatever color you want uh, it doesn't have to be yellow you can of course variate the colors if you want and you know that looks pretty cool so for example i come here to our uh you know our yellow stroke layers and select one of them and just change the color and you know it'll be able to stand out very easily so you know that is pretty neat and a lot going on here but of course you might want to reveal on your full title obviously so what we do here is bring our original title back on here which was turned off and we'll bring this layer on top of everything awesome and simply we could just use some simple hit t on keyboard for opacity we can add a keyframe for opacity move this keyframe forward in time and then set the opacity down to zero percent so now we have our stroke title here and it just fades on and you know that's pretty cool and overall this looks really cool we have a lot of cool options to work with here you can do more exterior lines outside of your title or your logo of course you know one thing i like to take a look at is always how can we enhance these types of compositions that's why i've made my very own after effects template called the motion graphics starter pack which has over 300 elements in it ranging from titles backgrounds uh, and accent motion graphics which we'll, we'll use to help enhance this so for example i can come here into my pack so i can come here to clusters and you can see we have these accent motion graphics lined up in here and i can apply this to my main composition and within a drag and a drop, I've been able to help enhance this composition with our accent motion graphics uh, just within a drag and a drop. So if you want to check out our full motion graphics starter kit, that link will be in the description. It'll head over to our website. So that's how we can create a multi-layer stroke title or logo inside of After Effects. It's very easy to do. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.